Shalom, shalom. Kahala yam la. Yahweh bahashim yalashai bahashim akakudash. Devil honors to the elders and apostles of great Muslim to teach him well. Peace and salutations be to hopeful elect. I'm Brother Charles Amgabar. Coming at you from the prophets in Babylon, camp here in Tampa, Florida. All right. I want to get in on this quick hit. Going into trusting in the Lord. Okay. Grab a few scriptures. Going into trusting in the Lord. How are we going to call it today, man? There's a book of Proverbs. Chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shemiel Shai, with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. So what people confuse and misconstrue is they try to go off their own understanding and do things uh, their way, do things carnally. They try to think things through, um, plan things out, and say, okay, this is how it's going to go. But the Lord has already got predestined and written down what's going to happen, what's going to go down, okay? That's why you must trust in him and trust that he had the, that he has the best route for you. Because ultimately he does. You know, you can't just try to go and um, accomplish things your own way. Because the Lord will make a way out of no way. You know, and that way is always going to be the right way. The scripture says, uh, every way. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, I'm going to just grab it. Let me finish this verse. It says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So, in all the things you do, acknowledge Yahweh Bashem Yashai. How do you acknowledge Yahweh Bashem Yashai? It's by thinking upon the law, statutes, and commandments. The things that Yahweh Shai did are the things that Yahweh Bashem Yashai would do, you know? And that's how you get your, your, your paths directed by him, you know? Your actions. Every day you wake up, you're faced with decisions to make, you know? You're faced with decisions to make. Where this, this this decision to stay in bed and sleep or get up and do something, that's your first decision of the day. Okay? But you're faced with decisions every day. And all those decisions, you have to trust in the Lord. Okay, that doesn't mean just take the, the stupid way. You also got to have some form of common sense. Okay? Because behind faith is works. You got to put forth works to... Uh, display your faith you tell the lord you appear before the lord and you tell him lord i do that i i believed in you the entire time and then the lord runs the track back you know pulls up your works and you have no works towards the help of shai then you are my my good sir a liar okay you you did not in fact believe in the help of shai the entire time okay because there is no works proven that you did you know so in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths let me grab this in the book of proverbs chapter 21 verse 2 every way of a man is right in his own eyes but the lord you help us me shy pondereth the hearts okay so you may think that you don't going you're going down the right <laughs> you know you're going down the right zone the right path you, you may think that what you think is right but the lord is the one who pondereth the hearts okay he he stirs up the mind you know, let's see. Um, so it says the definition of power says think about something carefully, especially before making a decision or reaching a conclusion. It says, synonymous words is consider, contemplate, dwell on, weigh up, uh, review, study, think about. So the Lord is the one that pondered the hearts, meaning what? He's the one that puts those thoughts into your heart, okay? And he's the one that allows you to decide on that, on which thing you're going to do, whether it be according to his will, okay? But you just, tr you got to trust in the Lord either way, because all things going to be done according to his will either way. Ain't really much you can do about it. All right? All you can do is hope the Lord has mercy upon you. <clears throat> you know, give him thanks. And for that, we, we got to give all diligence, man, to make our calling and election sure. Because the hour of temptation is coming up. And that's the time that we got to be kept from. And when you come into that time, it's not going to be about willpower. It's not going to be about, okay, I can resist this because I got the willpower to. No. Revelations 3 and 10 tells you 
um, you don't have to be kept from that time. Meaning the Lord will have to put a spirit on you to not take that MOTB. Um, there was a woman, I believe it was an Edomite woman who had a dream. She did a video about a dream she had about the MOTB being the trip. You know, the sea hips, I like you. I don't want to uh, get this lesson taken down. She had a dream about the MOTB and it was being so tempting. So it was literally called the Hour of Temptation. But it was so tempting that the MOTB was like alive. It came alive. The sea hip came alive and it jumped up and it dug itself into her hand. It was digging itself into her hand and she began to bleed. You know. Um, but that's just how tempting of a time we're coming into in that hour of temptation that you're going to literally need to be kept from it. The Lord is going, you're going to have to be really on a level with the Lord, you know, in order to avoid that. Because if the Lord has uh, got it out to destroy you, then you're going to run into taking that MOTB. Okay, but if you're, if the Lord before you and with you, he's going to keep you from it, man. But it said, uh, every way of man every way of a man is right in his own eyes okay so you may be thinking that your own understanding is going to save you but that's not the case all right you need the lord or else you're just going to get body man. you're going to get body without the lord it says but the lord pondereth the hearts that's why it's important to just trust in the albus you can't really go aside from his from what he allows Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahabashim Yashai, than to put confidence in man. So you may be thinking that this guy can deliver you from something, or that guy can deliver you, or you may think the government can save you. You may think Esau Edom can save you from whatever situation it is that you're going through. But ultimately, the Lord, He makes the decisions. He's doing the saving, He's doing the deliverance and the destruction. <clears throat> As it says, uh, Deuteronomy 32, I kill, I make alive. I wound and I heal. Okay, so the Lord does all these things. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shemoshai, do all these things. All right? There's, there's nobody that can deliver out of the Lord's hand. So there's nothing that's going to go aside from what the Lord uh, uh, allows, man. If, it's, if it happens, it's because the Lord allowed it to happen. Okay? There's nothing happening without the Lord's permission. The Lord is in complete and full control over all things in the earth and in heaven. <clears throat> King David trusted in the Lord. That's why he said here in the book of Psalms, chapter 118, and verse 14, The Lord, Yahweh Shemil Shai, is my salvation. That's like it. The Lord, Yahweh Shemil Shai, is my strength and song and has become my salvation. And in verse 6, he says, The Lord, Yahweh Shemil Shai, is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. Okay, if the Lord is on our side, who can be? If the, uh, Corinthians tells you, the Lord before us, Yahweh Shem Yosha before us, who can be against us, man? Okay. Slot, man. Matter of fact, let me grab it. Salakia, that was Romans, the book of Romans, Salakia. Uh, the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 31 says, What shall we say, what shall we then say to these things? If you help us in Shai before us, who can be against us? Okay. Like it was stated here in Psalms, man. But um what can man do unto us, man? Man, a mere man whom the Lord has created, a creature that was born of the creator, you know, who's in control of all things. And nothing goes uh, contrary to his will. In fact, let me grab this. Book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things. And by him all things consist. Okay, so what does it mean to consist? By him all things consist. Let's grab the definition of consist. So it says, 
be consistent with, okay? What does that mean, to be consistent with, to continue, okay? By him, all things do continue, all right? If the Lord wasn't, that's why the scripture calls him the living power. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power because the Lord is constantly in the works, all right? The fact that you woke up is because you consist by Yehob Hashem Shai. By Yehob Hashem Shai, you do consist. The fact that you see another day is because the Lord is continuously breathing air into your lungs, all right? Pumping blood into your veins. The Lord is doing all these things. The same thing with the trees, the grass, the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars. All these things consist because of the Lord gives it the green light to work every day. Okay, continue on. Okay, continue on. Continue on until I say drop. Until I say stop. Until I say die. Okay? So, if you ever wonder if there's a Lord, if you're alive, there's a Lord. Okay? Because without the Lord, you wouldn't be breathing. You wouldn't exist exactly. You, nothing would be in existence. There would be nothing. You'd just be in a plain space. Be a plain space of nothingness, man. We ain't even gonna go that deep, okay? It's gonna get confusing. <clears throat> it says, And he is the head of the body, the church, who was the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it is for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Which is speaking of who? Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Okay. So it's done dilio. Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you, you won't fail, man. You can't lose. Okay. All things work for good. Um, matter of fact, let me grab it. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are the called according to his purpose. All things work for good to the elect, man. All things work for good, uh, work for good for the elect. Okay, so if you be of that elect number, you're good, man. The reason the earth is in destruction and, and peril and all the, the, the death and destruction going on the earth is a good thing working for good for the elect, you know. You may be brought up now. Okay. And chiefly, Yahushai Mashiach, because the Most High had given this world to his son, Yahushai. <clears throat> Grab this. In the book of Romans, chapter 9. Romans chapter 9 and verse 19. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? So you can't resist the will of the Lord, Yahweh. No matter what you do or how you try it, you cannot resist it. Alright? You have men that have tried and, and nobody succeeded. Okay? But with that being said, man, trust in the Lord, Yahweh. And he's going to direct that path. He's going to direct it to the light. To the safety and comfort of this truth, man. Till next time, Mishra, give all glory, honor, praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim Kapodash. Shalom.